We'll see you again. God bless. is one of the most convenient ways that I'm finding now to do my shopping here at Mama Jo and I, my sister just sent through the voucher on my cell phone and I just come straight into Mama Jo to do my shopping. Well, let's see if you have a bit of silly on the town. Well, let's see if you have a little bit of silly on the town. I think it's really convenient for families overseas if they don't know what you know what to have to buy and they can just go and buy it from the shop. Yeah, this is the perfect way. My yeah, the sauce, my food, the 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 and a warm Pacific greetings to all of our beautiful viewers today. That's right, it's Thursday. And today is actually a very, very, very special day today. And I think we're gonna, um, first of all, before we get into it, we're gonna say a massive, massive Fafita lover to all of our sponsors. Um, Pacific Easy Money Transfer are the secure and efficient way to send your money back to Samoa. And if you haven't already seen all of our millions and millions of posts that we'll be sending out, um, we are all in support of our businesses back in Samoa. So, what you can do here in New Zealand, you can send your money through Pacific Easy. Yeah. Uh, that way you're not only helping your ainga in Samoa, but you are injecting um, money back into the economy for Samoa. So a massive whawhite lover to uh, Lea Fionga, Lea Faimalo, Alan Stowers for your love and support. And um, yeah, we really, really appreciate it. And if you're thinking that, oh, what else can I do? Well, you can actually treat your family in Samoa by using the Pacific 40 service 
Talofa Voucher, the beautiful Falute, who continues to show so much love and support for our team here, Blue TV. Um, and not forgetting Maota or Samoa, Say Oriana, the Pacific Business Hub, and Seki Works. All of the businesses who helped us with this platform so that we can help you and share. What a blessing it is. Yeah. I mean, just you listening out and listening to all the sponsors mm -hmm. that sponsor Blue TV um, and Blue Table Podcast. I mean, it's a huge blessing. It and is. these are amazing services, services that you can um, trust and services that are actually not only helping us and our families, but also helping the economy back I in some that. more. So I think that, you know, pucky pucky. But the, the, the key word there that Claudia said, trust. Yeah. It is the services that you can trust. Um, I, I cannot stress enough. Um, these are names that you can trust. Um, you know, they're about the people, yes. for the people. But yeah, love, love the service. Thank you so much. Um, but it is, we mentioned earlier, it is a very, very special yes, day is. today. It is um, our boss lady's birthday today. So we would like to say a massive, massive happy birthday to Sa'ala. Um, and, I, and if you are yeah. celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to do. To do. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> to do. Happy birthday to do. <laughs> to but do. a massive, massive yes. um, happy birthday. Um, may God continue to bless you um, with many more years to come because she's, oh my gosh, boss she is lady. Amazing. And the last time <laughs> we sung happy birthday, it wasn't <laughs> the... Um, most ab amazing song that we've sung. So we're going to try and redeem ourselves today yeah, here on the, the show. Do it. So this is especially for you, Sahara. Um, we hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful dinner. Um, so should we get, should we do it? Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this is going out to anyone that's yes. celebrating their birthday today as well. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sahara. Happy birthday to you. Can break it down now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! We got a debt time. Oh, that was man, sign us up, man. Yes. So was it Sony Records? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's been an awesome day and we do um, you know, Allah does so much mm. for the team and thank you so much. Um I know that we do take a lot of your sign up, so we love you. Um you're such a blessing to our lives and um we appreciate you. But um, today we do have a special guest. We yes, do. We do. <laughs> so we have Ami on the show today and he is not only just a phenomenal motivational speaker, yep. but he is the first, very first Pacific, Pacific Island, Island motivational speaker here in the whole of New Zealand. So we are very, very lucky to have him on the show. Yeah, we are very, very lucky. And while we've got everyone's attention at the beginning, I thought we, normally we announce at the end who our special guests are tomorrow, but we thought while we've got everyone's attention, that's right, tomorrow, we have a very sweet treat oh, yes, for our do. viewers. <laughs> but not only that, we have also we're, you know what, we thought, we, just, we decided, you know what, we've seen all of the posts coming from Samoa and how they are backing their local businesses. We're doing the same thing tomorrow, the sweet treat, and we are bringing the ocean to you. Um, we have Blaze and Bliss tomorrow. It's a double whammy tomorrow, man. It it's all about food. <laughs> and we've got salt. This is a mouthful. Can you please so so delicious grays? <laughs> yep. The ocean and the sweet treats. You tomorrow. <laughs> Tune in four o'clock. Apparently they're bringing some really good treats tomorrow. I really as well. hope they are. Because it's gonna be a fantastic way to end in such a week. great week. <laughs> yes. You know, it's always a great time here at Blue Wave. Um, and on Blue TV. So without further ado, we are going to go into a very quick break and we're going to bring on our very special motivational speaker, Ami. Stay tuned, guys.
is one of the most convenient ways that I'm finding now to do my shopping here at Mama Jo and I, my sister just sent through the voucher on my cell phone and I just come straight into Mama Jo to do my shopping. Well, let's see if you have a bit of silly on the town. Well, in love for me, I'll be past all the law. I think it's really convenient for families overseas if they don't know what to, how to help their families here. Um, this is the perfect way to get the money. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I may say that I have a telephone. I don't know if 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 I have a telephone. Salaf Alava everyone and welcome back. Yes, we are truly blessed to have uh, the awesome, the amazing um, Ami Pepe here joining the ladies here on Blue TV, Blue Table Talanoa. Um, but before we get into it, um, I'm going to do a little quick intro. Um, Ami Pepe is an award-winning speaker, writer, author, founder of Pacific Toastmaster Auckland and the founder of Pacific People's Life Coaching Program, featured on TV1 Tangata Pacifica to be the first Pacific Island motivational speaker in New Zealand, member of a Pro Professional Speakers Association New Zealand, a business owner and entrepreneur. Thank you so much, Ami. It's such an honor having you that, here today. That is an incredible resume, I must say. I feel like yeah. most people don't even get to do half of the things that you've mentioned on that resume. I know, so I'm just well done like, to you. I love it. And you know, the, for the very first motivational speaker, mm. um, a Pacific Island motivational speaker, 
Salo Falava, and thank you I, for, for joining us. I'm going to let you do your little intro because I know um, all of our viewers are probably like, oh, what village? Um, where are you from? Where were you born? And asking all these questions. If you've got any questions with regards to motivational um, questions, <laughs> send them <laughs> through, through in the comments. <laughs> How are you today? Thank you, Talofa Lover, Pierre and Claudia. Thank you very much for the opportunity I have to be here this this afternoon. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Five day, five day, man, we have five day. Thank you. So I'm just going to get straight into it. What, I guess, motivated you to become a motivational speaker? I, I think um, as, as a young boy growing up, mm. I was looking for myself. I've mm. always asked a lot of questions. I asked so many questions. I asked my parents. They said I asked too much questions. I asked the teachers. Uh, they said, uh, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you talk too much. And, and so that's the sort of life that I grew up with. Mm. So as a young boy, I have had a lot of unanswered questions. So I, I was looking for myself. Yeah. So when I finally found um, you know, to become a, a professional speaker, to become a motivational speaker, then I realized, hey, I've yeah. been doing that all my life. Yeah. I've been mm -hmm. talking, I've been asking questions. I always kind of present, always talk, always speaker mm -hmm. kind of thing. I got expelled and suspended from school many times because I talked too much. Oh, wow. So that, yes. So later on in my life, I realized, hey, maybe it's a gift, maybe yeah. it's a talent, maybe mm -hmm. it's something that God gave yeah. me as a young boy. Yeah. So. Yeah, later on in my life, when I arrived in New Zealand, that's when I said, yes, yeah. I'm going to become a professional. I'm going to become a self-empowerment speaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have um, always said that having the gift of the gab yeah. is an amazing thing. Like some of the most successful people that I know have the gift of the gab. But um, for other people like myself, you know, um, publicly speaking up or even just speaking yeah. can be quite fearful. Has that mm. ever stopped you? A lot of times, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. many times, <laughs> but also it depends what you want. Gotcha. You know, if you have a vision, if you have a dream in front mm -hmm. of you and then work hard to achieve that dream yeah. and mm -hmm. then, you know, and then you stand in front of people, it's, it's, of course you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. Of course you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. It's just how it is. Yeah. But yeah, once you get used to it, it's all come down to practice. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. The more you practice, the more you practice to get rid of that fear and to build that confidence. All of a sudden, it's, it stays in the system. All of a sudden, your your mind is programmed to believe gotcha. in what you do and, and what you say. So would you say practice is the one thing, you know, for people that have a lot of practice, practice, a lot of practice. People tend to think public speaking as you out there speaking publicly, which yeah. is true. Mm. But to me personally, what I found, public speaking is a personal speaking skills. Yeah. Mm. Before you get out in the public, it's, you have to be taking mm. it to, you know, you have to be a personal speaking person. Mm. Yeah. You have to speak a lot to yourself. Yeah. It's what you call self-talk. I talk mm. to myself a lot. So the more I speak to myself, the more I speak in front of my furniture, my pet, there's no audience there. The Sweet, more so I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just like, do I speak to myself? I think in the car. I'm like, yes, but, yeah. but we do that all the time yeah. without yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. So the more you're aware that you're talking to yourself, the more you're aware that you can say the same thing mm. when yeah. you're in front of people. Yeah, mm. that's amazing. So yeah. as a motivational speaker, um, do you have to sort of uh, change the way you capture your audience depending on different cultures and different groups of people? That's mm. that's right. Gotcha. That's right. You know, before if someone said to me, Ami, I want you to come and speak on self confidence, and then the first, and then I have a list of questions to ask. Okay. Yeah, I sent them an email or a text. That, Can you help me with this? Help me with this. Like I think I got five or seven questions to ask. Gotcha. Mm. What I what what sort of audience are we looking at? What mm. culture? What did they do for mm. work? Gosh. How much, um, you know, whatever, if the topic is self-confidence, because a lot of people are looking at self-confidence and mm -hmm. self-esteem, self-value, self-images. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those are the sort of things that they always ask for, for me to come and empower people. That's so amazing. I always have to ask those questions. That is really amazing. And mm -hmm. I'm listening to you. You're very articulate. You're very high energy. How do you kind of sustain yourself? <laughs> <laughs> How do you sustain yourself at 100% energy all the time? Like, uh, that's quite yeah. an amazing yeah. thing it's, to be able to yeah. do. Yeah, thank you, Claudia. I think it's it's good. To, it's like going to the gym. Gotcha. You know, yeah. go to the gym and, and, and put that muscles, you know, mm. bang. But once you you give up on a gym, mm. and then those muscles will go down, yeah. you know, back to normal. So it's the I same know, thing I what know. I do. I have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's the same thing what I do as a speaker. Mm -hmm. I have to practice. You'd be amazed to find. I, someone asked me, how many times do you speak a day? I said, 55. Wow. And they, what do you mean 55 times you go out and speak? No, 55 times I speak at home. Oh, wow. Mm. Yes, and 
Exactly. It's, 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 the brain has to be switched on all the time. Yeah. Mm. And that's why I have a lot of energy when I speak. I don't <laughs> put my hands oh, down yeah, and I'm ready to fight. Yeah, that's, really so, that's but what, yeah, it's all in a system. Yeah. It's all mm. in a system. And it's been programmed in my mind for quite some time. But how does it look? You know, you're the first Pacific mm. Island motivational speaker, and I know a lot of our guests are thinking. Oh, sorry, a lot of our viewers are thinking. What is a motivational speaker, and what is the purpose of a motivational speaker? Mm. Because our Pacifica our community, we spoke about it earlier on as well. Um, sorry, yesterday. You know, it's it's quite a difficult audience to tap into. What are the challenges um, with being the first? Uh, and I think only at the moment, currently, the only yes. motor Pacific Island motivational speaker. What are your challenges? Well, there's there, there's a lot of challenges. Uh, I think uh, being a, you know, to me personally, our Pacific people are very, especially our Samoans, mm. yeah. very, you know, they can get up at any time and yeah. speak mm. in front of 100, in front of 200 mm. people. Yes. That's no problem. But to be trained as a motivational speaker is mm. a different it's a different category. Yeah. You know, you have to be trained as a motivational speaker mm. so that you know how to articulate, you know how to build that, you know how to connect with people mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, sorry, Pia, this is what happened when I talked yeah. to my... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay. that's, that's fine. Now, going back to your question. Yeah, yes. so how do you... I've just forgotten. Challenges. The challenges. Because, you know, I know as a Samoan yeah. woman, yeah. you know, and we know um, it, it's, it, it's not really something that I would... I love... I love that I've now been able to connect myself mm. to a Samoan motivational speaker and I hope um, and pray that, you know, your services that you offer will then um, have that ripple effect to all of our communities mm. because we need yes. so many. Because, there's, yeah, we have the oratory, mm -hmm. um, but then we've got someone like you who can speak and can connect on that level to, you know, from someone as young as five at school to someone as, you know, old yeah. as, you know, mm. whatever. But, you know, what are the challenges? Because I know as a Pacific Islander, it's, it's difficult. It, it is, mm. it is. I think the challenges that I come through, what I'm, as a motivational speaker, I've been doing a lot of work mm. as well for mm. the business that I used to work mm. with, you know, and this is in a Palangi system. Mm. So when I get up in front of Palangi people, you know, mostly Palangi, yeah, yeah. when I say something, they go, oh, yeah, yes, 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 we can do it, we can do it. <laughs> and then... Yeah. When I follow up the following days or mm. following weeks on that project, on that program, mm. they say, oh, yeah, I've done this and this and this. The ch Sorry, the challenges that I go through with our Pacific people, they say, yes, yes, yes. And then when I follow through, they go, oh, I haven't done anything. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our people tend to, to have a mod. We can only motivate ourselves for a, a very short time. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we can come to the same, they can come to the same and they say, yes, I like your story. Mm. I like what you just said. Man, I'm going to do that. Mm. After the seminar, people will go back to the normal stuff. Right. Yeah. People will go back to the normal, you know, mm. the life yeah. that yeah. they've been living. Guilty. And that's, yes, that's the challenges that I come through. Okay. And I'm, I'm speaking to, for myself as well. Mm. I've been there myself. But then I realise, hey, if I don't act on what I'm supposed to be mm. doing, I will never be able to do what I'm doing now. Do you then have like a a special formula or something that you apply on our people to keep yes, them motivated? Yes, if I go back to what I've been doing mm. and what I achieved so far, I, I tend to have, uh, well, I have this particular formula that I teach and train people. It's dub, dub, dub. W, w, w. Mm. And people are looking at it, oh, yeah, we know dub, dub, dub. Mm -hmm. We all know what dub, dub, yeah. dub. But what I mean is dub, 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 you write, you work, and you win. I like that. Write, mm. work, and win. Dub, 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 write, work, and win. That, that's all it is. <laughs> you know, a lot of people tend to think to become something, we have to work hard, but it's not. You know, we live in a world of technology. We live in a world of yeah. education. Yeah. Mm. You know, you press the button with your eyes closed and there's the education right in front of you. Mm. So we got to work smart mm. instead of working hard. Yeah. You know, you got to look for that gap and fill that gap by mm. working smart. So all you need to do is to write down your goals. That's, what is it yeah. that you want to achieve mm. in the next six months? Yeah, and start taking actions is to do the work. And then at the end of six months, I'll tell you what, something that I told, that I trained people yeah. on is to do it every day. Mm. 
to do it every day. A lot of people tend to think I can do once a week. Mm. Uh, no, no, it will, it will take you two years or four years oh. to get there. But if you want to get there in the next six months or do you want to get there in the next 12 months, make sure you do something every day that will practice you. So you write every day, you work on it every day, and you win every day. And then at the end I, of the week, you said to yourself, man, I achieved this so far. Yeah. And then at the end of six months, all of a sudden, you're starting to see the bigger picture of what you just you know, trying to achieve. Dub, 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 dub every dub, day. I see where you've connected the two with fitness, which is health. Mm. Um, you know, because I know Alessio speaks the same way as well, you know, with the whole win and work and, um, yeah. and that if you don't practice or you don't attend um, gym every day, That's you right. don't see the results and you've applied the exact same type of formula. Oh. That's yes. amazing. Mm. That you, you, I, I mean, I know I'm speaking for the both of us yeah. here. You are very inspiring right now and you're very motivating. Um, and Patrick, who um, is viewing right now, he says... Who inspired you to become a speaker, or who, or who like are some speakers mm. he takes inspiration <laughs> from? Yeah, because that... well, if you're the only Pacific, <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering because you're the first of the first. So who do you, who have you looked up to? Who has inspired you? Who did he say, Patrick? Patrick. It was Patrick. Yes. yes Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I can go back when I was five or six years yep. old. As I said, you know, my mother being a role model in my life, I, um, as I said, you know, I got expelled and suspended from school so many times. Mm -hmm. The teachers couldn't understand me talking so much, a lot, and speaking a lot, and raise my, you know, it's one of those mm -hmm. times, I, if I want to say something, I say it. Mm -hmm. Said I, then when I, whenever I go home, I, you know, got a smack from the teachers. This is back home in Samoa. Yep. Got smack from the teacher. Well. Not really smack. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot more than well, a smack. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then every time I go home, I'll speak to my mom, and my mom says, don't worry about it. I think you, go, you have a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a gift. And, and that stays in my head, not, on, not, mm -hmm. not only in my mind, but also stays in my heart. Yeah. Mm. And that's it. That's it. And she said, you know, every time I make mistakes, and then she said, no, nah, don't worry about it. It's okay to make mistakes. Every time I do something right, it's okay, son. You're, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. And I'm not sitting here saying, I'm a good oh, man. Great, you know, mom. I went through a lot of things in my life, but for some reason, my mom always be there. And, and uh, instead of her looking at my mistakes, she looked at what good things that I do. So That's every amazing. time I make mistakes, she she will never say anything. But if I do something good and something right, she goes, "Man, you're good. How did you do that?" Oh, so that's I how I grew that. up thinking. Hey, maybe this I can go through some challenges and overcome these challenges. Yeah. And that's how I became the person where I am today. To be motivated, to be a, a professional yeah. speaker, to be the you know self empowerment speaker. Because my mother was always there for me as a young kid growing that's up. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. Oh, that's that's oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Pat. So that, Patrick, yes, that, that was Patrick. 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 Um, <laughs> for the boys podcast, um, a quick plug in, you know, tune in uh, tonight. The boys are on. <coughs> Hope that's answered your question. Um, Pat, thank you so much for tuning in as yeah. well. I love that mums, eh? Mums are mums. Mums are amazing, <laughs> <laughs> guys. But we do have some photos um, that yeah. we want to share with you guys. Um, so we're going to have the amazing um, producer, Lemo, pop them up. And oh. this photo... Um, I think is really amazing. Not this photo, but it was another <laughs> this, photo. This, this photo. photo, sorry. Yes. <laughs> sorry. While sitting there, Limo for Limo. Limo's like, come on, ladies. So you actually founded the Pacific's Toastmaster branch group. That's correct. That's amazing mm -hmm. because I went to one Toastmasters class and it was not easy. I could not get out of there quickly. And I kid you not, this is a true story. I went with my friend and I went to the bathroom and I came back and I faked a call by myself. I didn't even get a friend to call me. I picked up the phone by myself and I was like, oh, yes, sure, mum, I'll come back home now. And that's how I left. That was your <laughs> exit call? <laughs> Because, I mean, it's amazing because, uh, I mean, you really are just throwing yourself in deep end. You're mm, practicing true. all your um, your public speaking skills. And, I mean, good on you for, for starting such an amazing thing mm. for the Pacific people. Claudia, I can relate to that. Yeah. 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 It, you know okay, how... thank you so much because I thought I was going a little bit crazy. <laughs> it was hard. Do you, you know how long... too? Yeah. Do you know how long it took me to become, you know, to get into Toastmasters? Because it's 16 hard. years. Because they give you a topic. <laughs> they give you a topic. Like, no, no, I love, you know, 
I mean, I love your honesty. I really, yeah. really do. 16 years. I still remember the first time I went in the Palangi friend of mine at work. He goes, mm. you'll be good in Toastmasters. The way you speak, the way you talk. Man, you should come in Toastmasters. The first night when I got yeah. there, he told me the time to be there. I got there and he wasn't there. I looked around and all Palangis, I said, nah, wrong place. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> and then I was, you know, it's just like that before he started. They mm. give you a topic. So the topic was like Freddie Mercury and you That's had to right. speak two minutes on it. I don't know anything. <laughs> two minutes about what? About Freddie Mercury. So do you know oh, who Freddie Mercury yes. is? He's yes. a singer. Right Queen. from Queen. Oh, oh, yes, but to yes, be able to speak yes. on Sorry, him for like, two minutes. And these people that got up there were speaking with such fluency That's right. and yeah. so good at articulating themselves. And I'm like, I am not able oh. to even stand on my two feet here. Okay, can I just quickly go back? Mm. You said you walked into a room filled with Balangi people mm. and you straight away said, I'm mm. not meant to be here. Yes. Wrong place. Yeah, mm. wrong place. So I went. Why? Did so you I went left up. Yeah, I felt. Hey, where's the Polynesian? With us, you know, we're mm. our Pacific people. Yeah. So I left the room. So my friend, you know, got home after that. Now he called me and he said, "Wait, man, you didn't come." And I said, "No, no, no. I was so busy. I was making up things." Mm. Yeah. And then the following week, I did the same thing. I went in. Relax. They got me up to introduce myself. Man, I was nervous. I was. I couldn't stand. I was nervous in yeah. front of these people. So, and then I left. 16 years later, I tried again. That's amazing. You know, mm. just like Bear saying, your honesty, your honesty is just yeah. making it. It's given me hope that yeah. one day I can kind of accomplish, yeah. you mm. know, the ability to stand up in a whole integral group of people and talk. Because like, it was even terrifying for me to just like stand up there and like talk about myself and like mm. say, hi, my name is Claudia, <laughs> sort but, of thing. Uh, you know, for you to be honest and open, you know, here on our live podcast that, you know, it took you that long That's and you're not even you you know you're not, you're not even worried and that you're kind of like guys you know That's if you can do it then That's anyone, amazing. Can do it. No, anyone can do it um, we have another question from Ben he says are there any body language eye contacting hand gestures plus positioning of self for your speeches to be emphasized and be captivating to your audiences mm. if there are when do you start employ, um, implementing them Please through entrance, mid, or when getting to main points of emphasis for your speech. Ooh. That's a very good question. Mm. Man, Ben it loved it that. Is. Go, Ben. It sounds, sounds like Ben is a public speaker already. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ben. <laughs> he just doesn't it's, know it yet. Yeah, I, I think it's. Uh, I, I can't see in one, you know, platform. What's, mm. what's, anyway, when it comes to public speaking, uh, to learn how to, you know, to speak as, there's a lot of things. When it comes to body language, mm. when it comes to body language, you, you need to know what you're talking about. Mm. You know, you can't say, when I have a, when I, for example, you know, I, I seen a speaker was telling his wife when having a baby and my wife was having a baby. Oh. <laughs> There's no baby from up the sky here, you know. That's a body I've language never I'm talking about. about it yeah, that way. that's a body language that's I'm talking point. about. So if you're if you're talking about a wife having a baby, you got to do something, you know. When my, you know, right, yeah. a body language that goes with the, you know. Mm. So that's a sort of body language. Yeah. So it's very important to listen to what you're saying and then do mm. the body language. And I've always believed when you speak, you look at your hands, mm. and the audience look at your eyes. So when oh. you follow your hands, people will go, oh, "I yes. like that." I feel like even that might be, for someone that's a little bit more shy, it might be less daunting if you're looking at your hands instead of making eye contact. With it, it's, it depends on the story. It depends Smart. on the story. Mm. So if you're not telling, if you're telling a normal yeah. thing, yeah. then you can look at the audience. But once you start to demonstrate an yeah. image or a picture or a car, and mm. that's when you start looking at your eyes to demonstrate what you're looking at. What mm. you're, then people will have an image in their head of what you're talking about. And that is why you are the award-winning motivational speaker, <laughs> and not me. And that is why you took, um, you just took my breath away. <laughs> so, you're sitting here, and I'm going to do it, I'm going to ask. You've been sitting here, and um, we've been talking, myself and Claudia. Have you picked up on anything that you can see that we could improve on? And yes, I'm going to do it Oh, online. I love this question. Have you seen anything that you, you know, just by sitting here, that oh, okay. we need to improve, improve on? on? 
Not so, yeah, maybe if I go back and watch this, oh, and then okay. I will, you know. You can send us because, your emails. You can send us <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, yeah, you know, sometimes, yeah. and a lot of people do that. You know, mm. a lot of people will send me their videos of how they do their presentation. Mm. I mean, can you have a look at this? What do you think that I should be working on? Right. Mm. And then I do those feedback. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, because I'm, I'm talking more yep, most yep. of the time, so That's my hands are all over the place. Yeah. So, but once mm. I watch... And then, and then I will be able to. That's to amazing. So, and you obviously give a lot of like points and tips in the book that you have written. Yeah. Right. Can you tell um, the viewers a little bit about your book? Because I did see that it is currently in our libraries, guys. So if you have a library card, you can go over, check it out, and become as cool as this guy. I've got the book here. You were born with something special. I've always believed, as I said, you know, when I was young, growing up, I've always tend to think. Uh, for some reason, when a teacher said, run this way, everyone will run that way, and I run a different I love direction. It. I, love <laughs> I, don't it. I love it. I don't know. I don't know. And the teacher will go, why do you do that for? So I tend to think outside of the box mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. I tend to do things outside, you know, different yeah. from, and mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I'm the best or I'm different. Or, or I think something in my head kept on telling me, do this. And, you know, people say, don't do that. And then I wait for them to walk away. <laughs> then you and do it. And then I do it. It's just because I want to experience yeah. things. You know, I, I just want to explore things. Mm -hmm. So you were born with something special. I really mm -hmm. believed each and every one of us were born with something special. Mm -hmm. You have a gift. You have a talent. Whatever that you have, mm -hmm. all you do, I always tell people, don't look out there for what you want. Look, look yep. what you have already yep. because you already got it. Mm. So you and I were born with something special. I love that. I really, I, I'm, I'm quite feeling very motivated right now, I'm guys. Very, I, I love <laughs> it. Just saying. You know, and then just going back to your, don't touch that or don't do this, and you've just gone ahead and done it. Just kind of reminds me of um, Talia, actually. Don't do that. And, you know, they're so innocent and yeah. they just do it anyway, right? Mm. They just go ahead and do it, even though, you know. I like what my sister said one time. She's got so many kids, and she said, I rather have a messy house and my kids enjoy. Rather than my having a clean house that. and my kids that. are not enjoying life. My mum, you know, and my mum said that once. And do you believe, so my mum, I think I've explained it on, you know, my mum my is quite um, the, the woman. Um, I love her, love her, absolutely love my mum. But I know that a few times we've had visitors and they would say, oh my gosh, lo, but I lo fale, oka okay, which means, sure. oh my goodness. And you stay home, but, and so that apparently, you know, back in the day, and GI, Glennonis, um, there was a TV and the walls were just covered in crayons and just, you know, and my mum, they said, don't you know how to discipline your kids? And my mum said that. She goes, I'd rather have a messy house and my kids are creative and they're, yes. they're exploring. That's right. Then, mm. you know, what, what else are you going to do? Mm. And that's my mum. That's always been my mum and... Maybe that's what, why that. my house is a little bit messy today. <laughs> <laughs> let's claim that. But I love, let's claim let's that. Claim but I love that. that. I love that. I think yeah, that's yeah. how I was brought up. You mm. know, even though I was brought up in Samoa, having so many hours, so many chores mm. to do, but I've always had that time. My mum would say, "Nah, leave it there. Go, go play with the boys. Mm. Go play with the kids." So I was always out there in the ocean and the sea, at the beach, in the river, in the bush. What a great child! So <laughs> I was having a good time. <laughs> makes you, it makes me want to. It makes yeah. me miss Samoa yeah. so much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh... And I, li I like how you say that you're always constantly thinking outside of the box. Because I was actually reading the book this morning and it mentioned that. But then it also took it one step further and it said that there is no box. Mm. That it's just, That's true. Yeah, there is no it's, box. There's no box. It's just the and way we think. It just blew my mind for some reason. <laughs> uh, really. Look, um, Abby, we do, you know, have to wrap things up. But um, before we go, you know, look, we, it's been great. It's mm -hmm. been great having you here. Um, we are in the current, we're currently in a process of um, trying to organise something because we would love it to have um, Ami here every single week, um, maybe hopefully once a week um, mm -hmm. to continue to motivate all of our viewers and because we think it's important, uh, not just our viewers, our children. 
our families, our moms who are staying at home, um, to brighten up the screen every day. Right. We would love to invite um, Ami here every single week. So, but before we do that, we need to get the approval first. So we're, we're in the process of doing that. So yeah. um, before we, we, you head out, do you have an encouraging message for all of our viewers um, and to the viewers who will probably tune in later and do a replay? I think, yeah, thank you. Uh, I think, Pierre, going back to that dub, 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 You yeah. know, it's, a, it's something that I've trained myself to do. Even if to become a professional speaker, I have to do that. Dub, dub, dub. I have to do it every day. Yeah. Mm. Speaking, whether I speak in front of people, speaking at home and speaking in front of my pet, my dog, that's what I do. Yeah. So it gives me that practice, practice, practice. Yeah. You know, it says practice makes perfect, but I really believe practice makes improvement. Mm. You know, the more you Love practice, that. the more you improve. Mm. And uh, so to write a book, I come across a lot of friends who say, man, You wrote a book. Mm. You know, I wrote two books. And, I, and, man, I've been thinking of writing a book in the last 20 years. Mm. Again, I had to go, I had to show to them, dub, dub, dub. Mm. You write, you work, you win. Okay. So if you want to achieve something in the next six months, you've got to start writing things down. What are your plans? When are you going, you know, in the next 12 months, in the next 12, Love it. Uh, two, month, two years, you can do it. All of this, think about what do you want to achieve in your life, mm. write it down. And then start working on it every day. It has to be an everyday thing. And then in the next six months, whoa, I really believe the future. If you don't have something to work on, if you don't have a dream or a vision, mm. and then you are chasing the future. But once you put in a start today, having that vision and start working on that dream, guess what happened? You come up halfway through and the future will come up halfway through and you will meet in the next two years. Do, do you know what? I'm going to be very honest. I forgot that we were on a sh like. On the show, <laughs> and I was just so immersed. And I was like, man, I need to like get a notebook, start mm. writing out all my. Goals. I think we're gonna be that, um, sitting dub, here. Dub, I think this is for us. If you really, day. yeah, if you really want your future to to be shorter and yeah. to come to you, you got to start working on your dream. Yeah. And then in the next six months and the next twelve months, you will see your future. So, guys, head over to yeah. um, your public um, Auckland Library. Um, and check out his yeah. book. Oh, his no, we, we can't life. wait. And um, I can't wait to go through all the topics and every scenario that you can think of to keep our people motivated every single day. Um, that's it from us here at Blue Table Telenor Podcast. Um, look, um, I've got a little air tune in and you're probably wondering. Oh. Um, excuse, sorry. sorry, I just have a question for you from Ben. Um, can he buy your book online and download it? Not at this yeah. moment, not at this moment, because my provider is still <laughs> working on my yeah. website. Yeah. Uh, in the last couple of days, he's upgrading my website. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. uh, so can we expect to see it? Yes, soon? yes. There we go. He there we can go. Can contact ben. me dub, on dub, my dub. Facebook. He is writing, working, and winning. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your, sorry, your, they can contact you through via Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Ami Pepe. And my website will be up in, my, again, my provider is working on my website. I hope, yeah. Hopefully, in the next few days, yeah. it's amipepe.com. Don't worry, we'll um, keep everyone updated um, over the next couple of days as well. Um, also, a shout out to Patrick. Um, I dream to have a production crew like Blue TV. Shout yeah. out. Um, yeah. Yes. Look, um, to all of our viewers who are wondering um, when we're going to draw the prize, the money for Talo for Voucher, um, sponsored by Talo for Voucher and, of course, Malta or Samoa, tune into the Brother Asiata show right after this. Uh, all of your names, we're working on it and we're processing it through. We're going to chuck it in that draw for you to win. Uh, the brother here will be here with Falute, owner of Pacific 40. Also, if you are feeling a little bit, head over tonight, 8 o'clock, for the boys' podcast, every Thursdays. That's yeah. us. Hopefully you guys keep it intro short. <laughs> <laughs> intro short, please, Pat. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to all of our... Yeah. Awesome sponsors. I'm going to say something that wasn't going to go down <laughs> right. Sorry. Thank you, Fafita. I love it to all of our sponsors. Uh, God bless. Um, and that's it for your Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Esquad, baby. Rex. J. Sands. Last year. By the way that you move and the way that you smile Say oh my dorima Baby you be giving your hand I'll take you anywhere You give me something that I never had Cause you care But about to me and the family Say why you waiting for me to tell
talk to you. Yeah. I'ma listen what y'all say. Yeah. Don't move out in the camera. Yeah. They wanna lay out all that you wine, girl, that you wine. Yeah. Say the mic in the notepad, don't get upset. Boom, ba ba. 